to I'll have to send you what we did last week so you can see it. So we're going to do another crossword today. Bye. Okay. And you have Netflix recommendations. I have Netflix. For, oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I lost you for a moment. <laughs> Travels with Father. Travels with Father. What's yes. That? In a well, show. it's it's in episodes, and there are about three seasons of it, so you can watch what you want. Um, but this it it's a British comedian, I think, who takes his father who's a real homebody to different places in the world <laughs> where he's generally, the father is generally a bit uncomfortable about this whole thing, but it's very cute and I like it. Um, and he goes a lot of different places, you know, oh, that's fun. so, and the other one is it's brand new, our great national parks. And it's narrate, and this is worldwide parks, um, and one of them is Monterey. Um, and I didn't realize that the Monterey Park system starts like in San Francisco and oh. goes all the way down the coast to, I guess, Monterey, maybe even past Monterey. But they do monarchs. And they do whales and otters Yay. and um, our favorite sardines. Are they sardines? Um, and uh, sharks. And it makes some sense actually because the San Francisco park system, like, ooh, careful of the mic, is uh, like the Presidio and other places. I think, yeah, now I'm remembering when I lived there that, yeah, those are officially part of the national system. Yeah, yeah. And it's narrated by Obama. Oh, neat. And, and so, and he incorporates a little bit of um, climate change with it. Um, but he talks about the kelp forests and it's it's interesting. It's I just watched the one about Monterey, um, That's but great. they do other ones that have oh must be a park in India where um, it's a refuge for tigers and um, well I don't know what all else, but it might be interesting. I really enjoyed the Monterey one. So, that sounds great. I'll yeah. I'll also recommend it to my friend Danny, who wants to visit all of the parks, all the national parks. Uh, I know he'll be interested in that. Okay. Well, as I said, I think this is the only one that's in the United States. I well, There might be another one, but I think there are a lot of them um, all over the world. So anyway, those are two. That's and, great. Thanks and, for the recommendation. And I would also recommend, but I don't know if you'd like it. It's, it's, I think you have to have a compute, com, peculiar interest in, in fantasy and science fiction, um, dystopian worlds. It's called Squid Game. I don't know oh, if you've yes. ever heard of that. that. Very popular. Yeah. I guess last year, kind of horror science. Yeah, movies. yeah. Um, I think it's the murder that I usually have a hard time with, but yeah. everything else is pretty, pretty great. Right. So that's that. That's great. <laughs> okay. That's like a Korean. Yes. Movie. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Squid Games. Uh -huh. Yeah. Did you watch oh. it? Did you watch the whole thing? Yes. You did. Okay. There is another one, 
and I think I may have mentioned this to you before. I think it's um, it's also I don't know if it's Korean or Japanese. Um, I, I could I could look it up. I think it's called Midnight Cafe. It's about a oh. restaurant that's open all night instead of during the daytime. Um, oh. And I really enjoyed that too. And it actually comes to a conclusion in the end. It's really, it's kind of fascinating and interesting in the people that come in. They're the same groups of people and then there are new people that are introduced and we get a bit of their story. It's, it's, I like it. I like it. That one? Oh, Midnight Kitchen, maybe? Um, Fiction? Oh, it's fiction. Yes. It is fiction. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'll try and find it again for um, the name, the exact name of it. That sounds Uh, good. I like it. Yeah. I like it. It's subtitled. That's probably Mm -hmm. the hardest part about it, but I usually have subtitles on nowadays anyway. I'm not sure why, but I like I like following along sometimes with the subtitles. I don't know. Yes. Because sometimes you can't always I mean, even the British shows, I don't always understand what they say. Um because they're speaking so fast or they're speaking in dialect or something like that. Sometimes when the music swells and it goes over like faded out. It yeah. seems like I miss important things because yes. I get swept away in the music or yeah. I, get I agree away with you. I agree. Yeah. In like the drama of it all. Yeah. Great. Well, good recommendation. Okay. Um, is it are you still hot there? Is there a, still your heat wave? It was very hot yesterday. Today is Wednesday Mm -hmm. and it cooled off and we're expecting it to go back up tomorrow. Initially Mm. they were saying 109. Yeah. I was like even right here on the coast, uh, which is, that's significant. We, Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it that hot here before. Um, Yeah. But I, I got the curtain rods installed and I think are arriving today so it's gonna be bearable here if i could keep those good. up so. okay well but, we had yeah. pouring rain all day from beginning to end it was just a, a mess but we got a good lot of rain i've got mushrooms growing in the yard mm. and a lot of people do i saw that on on a, a feed for west hartford Um, A lot of people are having mushrooms growing in their yard. Suddenly they pop up. (laughs) Yeah, they do. They just pop up. Um, Oh, and did I tell you? I'm not sure that um, it looks like Willie sold his little shed. You did tell me. Yeah. 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 Anyway, okay, let's <laughs> let, let's see what we can do. What day okay. is this? Is this a, a this Tuesday? This is a Tuesday, Tuesday, so it won't be as difficult, I hope, as right. sometimes. Okay. Disagree. Disagreeably. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, that's a that's a tough one. Bucks going down doesn't help me either. Mm. Troubadour's instrument. I wonder if that's a lute. Hmm. Good try. Okay. Original fellow. I'm gonna yeah. say Adam. Yeah. Spot for grilling. Where are you? Five down? Yeah. Question mark. Hmm. Oh, who's the piano playing dog on the Muppet Show? Ralph. Well, that's five down. Is that Ralph? No, no. 
Not it's five down. Six down. Oh, six down. Well, what's five down? No, you're right, I know. Ralph. I know. I know. Oh, sir. Five down. Yeah. Spot for grilling. And four down we skipped. That's it. Ringo. For example. Hmm. Microphones pick up. Oh, we don't know. No, that we yet. can't do that yet. Hem. Oh, of course, that's great. That's okay. cute. Okay. So, hmm. what could box? Cash. Hmm. Great. You're on it. So. Oh. Microphone's pickup is going to be audio. Audio. Then. <clears throat> I was thinking of static or something like that. Hmm. Do you think that could be clash? Clash. Mm -hmm. C L A S H. Mm-hmm. Four down. Ringo. S I Sir. Mm -hmm. I think he was knighted. Yep. <clears throat> Hot coal. Spot well, it's hot something. Hmm. Should we try acrosses here? Yeah. Part to play role. Yeah. Tots boo boo. Should be ouch, but that would make it Rolf. I wonder if he is Rolf. Maybe he is Rolf. Maybe he is. We don't know this. Could go either way is the title. Mm. What each? Yeah. Right. Okay, seven down. You blank big time. You. Oh, me? You owe me. But that's not how you spell O. O-W-E. Yeah. So what could that be? <clears throat> that's boo-boo. Oh, Owie? it's it, it's ouch. Ouch is wrong because eight down Owie. is scent of spring. It's owie. <clears throat> I, okay. I really hate. You owe me. Okay. Eight down, scent of spring. Scent of spring. Well, nine down is eel. Is it lily? Oh, must be lily and eel yeah so start um lily is spelled wrong okay let's look at 20 across <clears throat> pml or rolf is not like or that rolf is wrong It's like Ralph. <laughs> I yeah. don't know how to spell his name. Yeah, I don't either. It's probably like Ralph. I mean, it wasn't the bear. It wasn't Fozzie. It's definitely. Yeah, it's. Was it Fozzie? But that Fozzie doesn't play the piano. No, it was Ralph. Yes. And let's go to 16. Let's go to 16 again. Mm hmm. We should look at the rest of the things. We should look at those. What each 22. of 22, 27, 37, and 
see that I think that could be starts well. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so let's go to what twenty two down. No, across. Oh, oh across no. twenty two across. Heist that leaves no clues behind. And also 27. It may be of considerable interest. Oh, gosh. And also 37 and 46. 37. 37. Decade following Black Tuesday. Tuesday. Roaring 90s. And 46. <laughs> Highly appropriate appropriation. <laughs> Highly inappropriate. Inappropriate. Go ahead, Mom. I'm going to mute you. No, nope, that's you. okay. I'm set. I'm set. Let's go to 10 across. Mm hmm. Possesses. Has. Mm -hmm. Tirade. Rant. How about ten down? Let's do the ten, eleven, and twelve down. Hanoi. Mm hmm. Her annum. Like that? Yeah. Look intently. Stare. Mm hmm. Okay, now let's we go. Tirade. Rant. Okay, eighteen. Oh, I Anna must be Anna. Must be. Love affair. Amour? I guess so. Powder Packer. <clears throat> oh, Ramrod. Perfect. It's gunpowder. Yes. What's 21 down? Just blank in the machine. Just just a uh, all in all is just a uh, another hmm, in the hmm. <laughs> just, oh. oh you sorry I muted you. You can unmute. Take your time. Just blank in the machine. Just a cog. Yeah. Just a, oh, you're probably right. Because that gives us the last word in 22 across, something mm. crime. Hmm. I still think we've got Lily spelled wrong. How would you spell it? L-I-L-Y. L-I-L-Y. So it's a different flower altogether? I don't think that's how you spell lily. I think we've got I hear you. spring. It's five spaces. Right. So how would you spell it? It's lilac. Beautiful. That's what it is. Great. Amazing. Oh, okay. Selma. 
site of historic 1965 yes. marches. Uh -huh. Spot for grilling, hot spot. I hate that if that's true. Yeah, let's try it. Well, okay. let's go to seven. Let's go to 17 first. Okay. A champion of comfort for all, according to its website. I don't know. Like FEMA or something? No. Hmm. Well, for grilling, hot. Let's try hot spot for grilling. Let's see what we can get. Hmm. Heist that leaves no clues behind. A perfect crime. Oh, wow. Great, Mom. Wow. Probably only because I watched Agatha Christie show last night. Okay. Champion. Well... Huh. If Something. it starts well, I like that a lot. Yeah. So let's oh, just have... perfect with an F. Wait. Oh. Well the, oh, then it's perfect crime. Oh, I'm screwing everything up. Oh, but that doesn't fit, does it? Perfect crime. But going down, six down still doesn't fit. Yeah, Rolf. Oh, I guess it is, Rolf. And 17 down? Okay. Oh, we don't know. Serta. Oh. I'll bet that's it. Serta mattresses. Okay. Whew. Used as a rendezvous spot. Well, let's go to 26. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Terrible. 23 down. That must be ton. Ton? Yeah. Do we look at this yet? Scoreboard number? 20. Wow. Oh. Period? P-E-R? Let's try it. And 24 across. Oh, we just looked at this. Yeah, I don't know. 27. Maybe, interest. Maybe, okay. So each one of these is going to start well, so to speak. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Considerable interest. Great. No. Did we look at 24 and 25 down? No, yeah, it's Sierra Club. Oh, geez. I don't know who did that. But it's I know probably, 20. It's probably a president, like Ford or. Uh, I don't, I don't know. But to be on the left bank is Etre, E-T-R-E. Okay, great. Hmm. 
online gasp. OMG. Sure. Outrageous. Out. Out. Maybe hot. Maybe the OT in it. The OT has got to be wrong. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Let's try that. Well, it's not outrageous. No, but let's let's leave it there. What's twenty four down? The founder of oh Sierra Club. Mm. And this is now used as a rendezvous spot. And this is Russian craft that circled Earth for fifteen years. Mir. Mm hmm. I think I don't know, but it might be E M E R, but I don't know. So oh, let's no. leave it at that. It's Mir. Okay. Oh, decade following Black Tuesday, Great Depression. Oh, of course. The first time. Yeah. So it's yeah. like an oxymoron inside of the thing. Right. It starts well. Perfect crime. Right. Depression. Yeah. And I'll bet, let's go to 30, not, 30 down. I'll bet it begins with an I. Like some markdown garments. Irregular. IRR. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, because I think that first word, or maybe the second word on 27 across is going to end in ing. Sure. Yeah. That looks great. Want to go down here? 29 quick swim dip. Yeah. And Glasgow. That's good. Glasgow denial. Nay. Mm -hmm. Nay. It's going to. 35 across. Let's go what 35 across is. Tire filler. It's air. A-I-E. A-I-R. There you go. That's it. Okay. Now. Outstanding. Mm-hmm. And 20, so 22 down is wrong. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. What is outstanding? It may be, that it may be considerable a considerable interest. interest. Outstanding. That. Oh, yes. Yep. <clears throat> Yale students, Ye when they ask about Yale, it's always Eli. They're the mm. Eli's. Mm. Hmm. Send packing. Retired M and M color tan. Mm. No. Oh. Mauna okay. Loa. Okay. Oh, sun packing boot. Boot. There you go. Good. 
Great. Great Depression. That was really good. Well, yeah. Should we go down here? Sure. 41 down. Give the ones the over. What's over. I up? No. Uh, well, what's 45 across? Marmite's chief ingredient. You know what Marmite is? Yeah, it's that weird yeast thing. Yes, and so Red. that's the ingredient. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it is going to be I, uh, I. I'll bet it is I something. Um, security equipment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Butter. Butter. Say. Yeah. Okay, so this will be an E. Yeah. Highly inappropriate appropriation. We'll find out. Yeah. Okay, where to now? 38 down? Sure. Nettles. Oh, dear. Well, we know what nettles are, but... Oh, hang on. I know 24 down. Sierra founder. Muir. Oh, yes. John Muir. Yeah, that's it. And so what's, what's 24 across? Used as a rendezvous spot. Used as a rendezvous spot. Let's, let's go to 22 down again. Let's see what... 22 P. down? Yeah, right there. Scoreboard number. Scoreboard. P blank S. <clears throat> oh. Spot for grilling. Hot, hot seat? seat? It's the hot seat. And oh. you spelled... Out outstanding yeah. wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm screwing up. That's all okay. Of you met at? Met at? Used as a rendezvous spot. Met at PTS. P PTS. Points? points must be points. I don't like met. I don't either. <clears throat> but we'll go for that. Go with that for the time being. It fits in. Mm -hmm. I guess. Nettles. Mm. Do you remember anything about The Simpsons? Did you watch that? Yeah, Flanders yeah. is like the younger son of uh, Ned Flanders' younger son on The Simpsons. I wonder if he's the one <laughs> that always had the best one-liners. Um, oh. And FedEx Alternative, I can't remember what their initials are. DSL. Oh, delivery? Let's try it. Let's try it. red delivery people. Yeah. Let's try it. DSL. Okay. okay. Think. 46 across. Let's go to, oh, 44. Well, let's go 46 across. Highly, oh, inappropriate appropriation. <sighs> Boarded. Like, Like on the plane or <clears throat> down? All I can think of <clears throat> that will fit in there is rhino, but oh. Usually, if you're doing an abbreviation, you know, rhino is a short way to say rhinoceros, right, and usually yeah. they give you a hint that it's going to be not quite what you think. Okay, Nixon's running mate. 
Cud. What was his name? Oh, um, Agnew. Agnew, yes. Vero Agnew. Yeah. Great name. Oh, how do I spell it? I think it's E U E W. Okay. Ag Let's just try that. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> 77 film directed by Carl Reiner. Oh, God, we're going back a while. And I'm lousy on movies. We'll get it. We have to fill yeah. some. Right. Mini school. school. Tiny? Must be tiny. <clears throat> Edition column. column ones. Well, okay. let's try it as opposed to the tens, right? And immediately now, now. okay, now so let's try this now. <clears throat> Boarded got on. Oh, of course. I'm thinking like boarding your cat. <laughs> 47. Look at that. It's going to be Rhino. Right. It huh? is going to be Rhino. Good one. <clears throat> 38 down. Nettles. I don't know. 52 no. across. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're right. <clears throat> I just rewatched it. Great film. Oh, did you really? So good. <clears throat> <clears throat> I keep coming back to this, but we don't know what it is yet. 39. Oh, net. <clears throat> net. <clears throat> A noise is going to be nettles. Oh, great. This is Todd. Okay, so it's going to be grand. Mm hmm. 46. Grand. Larceny? Sure. What's going on in your background? I heard some banging. Those are neighbors. Oh, okay. Yeah, grand larceny. Sleep clinic study. Ap apnea. Apnea. Cause. Hmm. Drink featuring cranberry and lime I'm juice. Cosmo. Try it. I mean, do you know? Is that what it is? Mm hmm Oh. I'm pretty sure. Devout. Pious? Pious. Ah, okay. Lots of vowels. Yeah. It, okay. It's going to be 41 down is going to be I up. Mm-hmm. So... 58. What each one does. How each one starts, starts well. Ends bad. Ends, E-N-D-S. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ends. Something. Yeah, uh, so maybe I... Maybe the P is wrong. I I bet it's right. It has something to do with and money. Larceny, depression, debt, crime. It's something. Okay. Let's find Let's out. Go to, yeah. This is estimate. EST. Approximate figure. Yes. And <clears throat> Don't know claws. claws. 
up here seam yeah oops with an e and 64 popular bubble tea flavor oh taro oh really i believe so this is claws oh as a rider okay oh, yeah 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 it's an insurance rider or insurance yeah. clause right okay 40 security sense sensor like a movement sensor so and I don't know if that's sensor. I don't know if that's yeah. let's let's do these other things. Unlikely to earn a treat. Bad. What's fifty four down? Spirit. How about 55 down? Furthermore, how about also? Mm hmm. Reddened. Reddened, maybe. Red. Unlikely to earn a treat. Okay, let's go to 62 across. Mm -hmm. Workers reward. You think that might be raise? Yeah. Good one. 65. Rose. Rose. Oh. Hmm. Oh boy. Okay. Spirit. Oh, milk type. Raw. Oh. 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 I was good. I was gonna say raw. Yeah. <clears throat> but if this is sensors, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Go ahead. How do you do that? Like sensors, sensors. Yes, that would be it. <clears throat> and then. If it's raw, ends poorly. Poor. Okay. Oh, you're right. It's out. It's poorly. Ends poorly. Yes. Depression, debt. Right. Okay. So this is a T. T. Rose. Stood. Oh, excellent. Hmm. Right. Okay. Spirit. Oh. Oh. What's fifty six? Reddened. Reddened, maybe. Died. Sure. So this is bad. <clears throat> Brio. Let's find out. Keep trying. It is Brio. Oh. We're going to have to look that up. Okay, so now let's go to 44 across. <clears throat> yes, I'll. Oh, Japanese drama. Oh. I don't even looking at that. Oh, okay, no D. Space. No. Mm -hmm. DHL. Oh, DHL. Okay. Great. Ah. How long did that take us? Does it say? I've 
quit the timer, but oh. we started, uh, I would say oh, maybe I, a half an hour. Okay. Um, yeah, we can leave the timer on next time. Okay. Wow. All right. That's good. We need That's to look up good. Rio. Yeah. I, right I've now. Got, yeah, I've got my, cal my calendar, my dictionary right here. I'm going to look up mine too. Spirit. Spirit. Oh, like a form, like maybe a type of alcohol? Grio. Brio, vigor, vivacity, vivacity. Oh, <clears throat> oh so you, As you know, in... <clears throat> that person really has spirit, has vigor. Yeah. Okay. What an, old, what an old word. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to look. I bet it's Italian. It's not in my dictionary. Okay. It is in mine. What year is yours? <clears throat> well, the one I'm looking at is American Heritage Dictionary. This is the one that mom won. What year? I'm looking. Oh, like so the 80s or 90s? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. 82. Yeah, this is like a 56. It's not in here. Oh, okay. So, Brio. Brio. I'm going to look it up again because I closed the book. B-R-I-O. Yeah, B-R-I-A. Brio. Italian. I wonder who popularized Italian of Celtic origin? Hmm. Sure. Interesting. Very weird. Brio. Yeah, of Celtic origin. I wonder what popularized it between the 50s and the 80s. I don't know. Interesting. Brio. What else do we have in here? Do you have brioche? No. Right, right under brio. You don't have brioche? B R I O C H E? No. Mm -mm, no. No. I didn't have any B R I O's. Oh. Briolette. A pear shaped gem, especially a diamond cut with long triangular facets. That's French. Oh, I want to look at what that looks like. Yeah. A briolette cut? Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's very pretty. It's a, yeah. like a rectangle with the corners cut out. Yeah. Cut but also you can get them very, very long and skinny too. Yeah. Wow. Briolette cut. Yeah. Oh, this one's showing it more three-dimensional like tear shaped huh well tear shaped you know like pear shaped right i was looking at more two-dimensional shapes but these oh, are okay three-dimensional not like a rectangle with the corner. yeah though that's a very popular um shape i mean we used to sell yeah. them a lot at the jewelry store teeny teeny tiny little ones mm-hmm yeah. Um, what else did we have in here that was good word wise mirror? You, you got, you got the good wordplay ones like right away. Well, you know, some but, of them you need a little, you need a little push, like a letter being somewhere. I know. You know? And you just know that the crossword word for Yale is Eli. Yeah. Well, that's another thing that comes up constantly, like Obi. Right. You know. But you knew um, Rhino right away, even though it's... Well, because, well, let's see, what was the clue? 
Forty, had, uh, 47 down oh the well the first thing i thought of was like a, a cow or you know a bull and then i thought of sheep right but not all of them have horns but this one is just but, a horn yeah right so i thought tried to think of you know a one-horned herb herbivore you did it but but as I said, usually, if it's going to be a shortened um, you know, like a a condensed word, like an abbreviation, rhino is like a a condensed word, but yeah. they let you know that it's going to be shorter than usual, you know. Yeah. Some things that get, get in the way of me feeling very satisfied with this are the tic-tac-toe, the o o o. I don't like that. Yeah, I know. They're I don't they're like annoying. non non words like owie yeah, like right. that. Yeah. Um and then just my lack of being able to figure out what was happening up here and me misspelling mm. and miswording things. That well, that happens. That happens, you know. Happens with us all. That's I why I used to do crossword puzzles in red pen and then make my corrections in a blue or a black pen because <laughs> you could see the difference. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. It's kind of neat that they did starts well, ends poorly. That's kind of neat. Yes. Could they go could either way. Yes. That's very clever. Perfect crime. Outstanding debt. Great depression grand yes. larceny yeah it is quite wonderful how they find phrases that are the exact yes. right number of letters I yeah mean, well really. they you know these people who make crossword puzzles their brains think differently i know, you know? i mean outstanding debt and great depression just there as two phrases that bounce off of each other already yes yeah quite incredible yeah with the letters and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then you got to get all the other stuff that it, uh, it, that it. makes it work our hats you know? off to you mike yeah. shank at all yes yep speaking of newspaper uh shall i stop the stop the share are we done examining this yeah that's no, fine overall. unless you want to have this part on the no it's okay. Uh, okay um no i'm just we're still recording but i'm stopping yeah. the screen here mm -hmm. um i just was gonna say a thing and now i forgot what it was newspapers and yes i have a hankering to find william sapphire who's I william know that sapphire so he he did on language he did the the oh. s a f i r e that william sapphire who used to uh -huh. be the speech writer the what writer speech writer beach speech oh speech okay the speech writer for who one of the presidents or a couple oh, okay I, mean, was, I think he actually wrote the preparation for like the just in case stuff mm -hmm. for if the astronauts didn't land on the moon safely. Oh, okay. I think he wrote them both ways, the congratulations and okay. the other way around. But he was, he did on language as a column for a really long time. And then I think he also had a column in the New Yorker for a really long time. Oh. Uh, maybe I'm mixing them up or maybe that's both the same thing, but he was, he was at the New York times. And then I think he also was in the New Yorker. New York, that's yeah. how I knew him was reading the old New Yorkers at grandma and grandpa's and just oh, okay. being so interested in how he could know about words so deeply. Uh -huh. and uh -huh. I want to find, cause he, he did some work that was on the more political side, uh, commentary wise, he was conservative. Um, uh -huh. But he was so well liked that the New Yorker, I mean, the New York Times just 
couldn't help themselves, I guess. Also, he's yeah. a fantastic writer. But apropos of the conversation that we had the other day about rule of thumb, I thought, oh, he probably, William Safar probably wrote something about okay. rule of thumb, right. and he did, but I uh -huh. can't read it because I don't have a subscription to the freaking oh. Times. But I know that it's been published in, in one of these books. I know that there's publications of all of the yeah articles um well have you looked him up as an author mm -hmm. and and yeah. he's not there yeah he is as an author of a book many books okay so why don't you get one of his books yeah i guess i'm talking about it i guess i'm a yeah. talker you know like a collection of his essays okay yeah Go ahead and put it on my card. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I mean, thank you. I mean, I, I thank you. Yes, it just all connected. I'm, maybe yeah, it's not as interesting as I thought it was. I just, no, it is. It it's not ringing a bell for you, the William Sapphire. It, it may be. Um, is he still alive? No, no, okay. Because I just got a, subs a a magazine, The New Yorker, um, as a, they're trying to prod me to get a subscription again. Oh, good so, God. That's, that's the avalanche. You know, I know, I know. New Yorker, I mean. And I, I've already got, I don't know why they're sending it to me, Allure. The no. magazine Allure. I can't. Garbage. I can't seem to get off of that subscription. They keep on sending it to me. Garbage. And um, Vanity Fair, I would say, yeah. you can get away with yeah. actually reading a thought. But you know, they, I get like three of these magazines that I have no interest in at all. Do you remember? Do you remember? I began and ended one of my shows with you asking me to, or with you, yeah, with you, with a scene of you asking me to get you off of these lists. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> oh, God. They, they no. send you stuff. I can, I can do it again. I can get you off of those yeah. lists if you want. Yeah. Uh, Cause it's sad. I just take them out of the mailbox and throw them into the recycling bin. Allure done. and well, trap, Excuse me, travel or traveler. I I don't Conde mind Nast. that coming it's because whole, it's, it's not Conte Nast. I don't no. think because I just look through it and if it has anything like on California or Ireland, <laughs> you know, or I'll, Hawaii or Hawaii, I'll read that. Yeah, um, but um, and then there's another one or two that I get that I just I can't tolerate it. I know. I'll get that. I'll get that little list. I mean, it's got. I don't know where it's coming from, and they just keep on. What a waste! You it's know. Terrible. Um, you can bring them in when you get your hair done and leave them, as opposed to those people oh, that go in and take the magazines. No, home. because Debbie doesn't work at a salon anymore. Oh, okay. She works out of her home. Oops. You go to her and her. Yes. Home. Okay. Yeah. She. She officially retired from the salon oh. um, not too long um, after, well, it may have been at COVID because she came here for a chunk of time during COVID. And then, yes, she did go back to work and she couldn't stand it any longer. So, but now she, you know, she has a condo in uh, Newport, Rhode Island. Beautiful. Yes. So, um, uh, maybe if you come here during the summer sometime, I'll, I'll rent it for a week. Oh, incredible. I would love it. And yeah. Um, she even has two bedrooms. Amazing. I, yeah. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. So I don't have to bother you with my machine of course the only machine i take with me now is uh the cpap machine as my doctor said 
if you have to take if you can only take one take the CPAP I think I told you that once before yeah anyway but, um, but we can I mean we can take both well I've got to mm -hmm. find the gosh darn yes that is that oxygen is, one I don't I don't is, I, I I'm wondering if I left it somewhere but I can't imagine that it's that is urgent to try to find that yeah Say. But as long as I'm home, I'm fine. So, so, is there anything I wrote down here that I wanted to tell you? This is something that you probably don't keep track of, Mom, because it's astrological, what? not mm. what? astronomical. It's astrological. Go ahead. That there are six planets retrograding. And that means they're doing what? They're the farthest away from us now? When you watch, when we used to watch the planets travel the sky and actually keep track of where they were in the sky. Yeah. yeah. They noticed that there were certain times where it seemed as though the planets oh, were going back backwards. They're not yeah. really going back. It's just right. the way We've that we're positioned. Facing. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's quite common and not necessarily of too much import, <laughs> really. Uh -huh. I mean, some people ascribe a lot of meaning to the retrogrades but uh -huh. um it's very common for mercury for example to retrograde and people to blame all kinds of things on it like uh -huh. the internet's not working or you know this piece of mail didn't go through or yeah. i had a miscommunication because mercury is a uh -huh. the planet of messages yeah from way back when well we've got pluto uranus saturn jupiter mercury and i'm leaving one out neptune i always forget okay neptune. yeah i don't know why but i always forget neptune anyway they all are in retrograde now are appearing to be moving back backtracking which mm. is signaling for me anyway since we're about to go into the time of year where we do our reflections, you know, uh -huh. between, you know between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, we do yeah. our reflections and uh -huh. it's the holiday season for a lot of people coming up, the fall equinox, uh -huh. it's a time to reflect. So I, I, I decided I'd do another, like another week long writing thing and uh -huh. do writing reflections uh -huh. and do it do it on youtube and do it live and uh -huh. you could do uh, reflections while in while pluto is in retrograde reflections in Ret retrograde yeah this whole time yeah. oh i see Re i see One reflections for while neptune is in retrograde <laughs> i figured i would just make the whole thing all about uh -huh. reflections and use yeah. Uh, one of the really well-researched techniques that I've been studying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, to do that. So, yeah. Make so sure you know which, make sure that, that all of these guys are in retrograde. They are. They okay. are. Well, Mercury okay. enters retrograde, I guess, tomorrow, but it'll be okay. there. But, but okay. I mean, yeah, they are. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, so... A reflective time of year and then yeah. i was also thinking about maybe later this fall an opportunity to reflect on covid specifically like some uh -huh. like a writing reflection uh -huh. time period for reflecting specifically on that because there's a there's um some venues around here in the bay area that are finally saying once and for all like you you can you can come in here now 
uh-huh. you know, without with or without a mask, it's up to you. Yeah. And it's like, it's taken a very long time yeah. for them to come around to it. And uh-huh. it seems to be the end of an era. Like some people are celebrating that they don't need to wear a mask anymore, but other people are really afraid and upset. Some people are that. still wearing masks. Yeah. They're still wearing masks and they're also kind of upset about reverting back to yeah. you know, masks. So Most it's like of the everyone pe- needs to get rid of or not get rid of, yeah. but everyone needs to sort of let go of something. They're either yeah. letting go of being angry about it or they're letting go of feeling like it's going to be forever this way. Uh-huh. I don't know. It's interesting. The The few people that I have seen who that I have seen wearing masks um, are people older than me, you know. Um, mm-hmm. Well, Connecticut's really yeah. different. <laughs> yes, yeah, but it's not comparable. I know what, it's not. I know it's not comparable. No, but um, it's just not. It's just a completely, completely different scenario. Yeah. But, but we are points well taken that, you know, yeah. people are, have been making choices. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I better let you go. That's okay. Whoever it is will leave a message. But, well, we have a, despite the fact that it rained and rained and rained yesterday, it's still very overcast. We may be still getting some rain sometime today or tonight but tomorrow is supposed to be nice so good see they didn't leave a message there you they go. just they just hung up yep well i'm so. going to send you links so that you can re-watch what we've done okay great um, that'll be let fun me know, let me know if you like the little thumbnails that i've done yeah. for the videos too okay um, i'm starting with a new client tonight and um so i'll try to send that out to you before i get okay well don't don't worry i love you they'll they'll get to me at some point one one way or another one way or the other yeah okay good good stuff good crossword it is it is we should come up with some kind of formalized way to end these things <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. We'll just call it quits. We'll take care of our cats. You'll get ready for your um client. Mm-hmm. And um I will talk to you later. Okay, mom. Otherwise, I'll talk to you on Friday. Yeah. Okay, Thank sweetheart. You. I love you. I love you too. You have a good day. You too. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye.